Hey, welcome to this Unity tutorial. Uh, we are going to make a base building uh, simulation game like Remol, for example. And it's quite a complicated uh, project and long tutorial. I'm making this because uh, this uh, helps me make my own game. Everything we are going to code is going to be open source and uh, available on uh, GitHub. Uh, so to start, I just subdivided the project in sub-modules. I forgot some stuff, it's obvious, but uh, this is going to be our base and then uh, we will add some stuff uh, while uh, developing the project. So let's start. So for this part, uh, we have the core of our game with uh, entities or objects or you know, things or I don't know how you want to call them. Uh, every one of them has a definition or data. Uh, with the graphical data, for example, the texture or the size, or for the ground, the path finding cost or the fertility, for example. And we have our own tick system based on the Unity one. It's just for performances. I uh, will extend on this later. Then we have our world. It's a 2D game, so we are using a tile map, but a custom one. Um, our map is made of layers, for example, one layer of the ground, one layer of the buildings, and uh, each layer at each position contains a tileable with just a container for an object who has a graphic representation on the layer. Right? Then we have spawners for, uh, for example, animals or plants, and uh, regions to be able to get stuff quickly uh, for our. Uh, it's going to be useful later, you'll see. Uh, then we have a roof and room uh, system. Uh, basically, we flood fill the map and uh, we get the inside and the outside area. And we are going to use this for lighting, but also for vegetation. For example, a plant cannot grow inside. Uh, we are going to generate our world using uh, noise uh, to be able to make a procedural map. Uh, then we are going to have a climate system. Uh, and I don't know exactly how this is going to work, so we'll come back on this later. And the Pathfinder based on Astar. So quite simple for the start, right? Um, yeah, that's it for this part. That's it for this part. Then we are going to have uh, our AI system uh, with uh, agents. We are going to use behavior trees to keep this simple, and um, we are going to have a target system. Uh, basically, a target is a tileable or a chain of tileables. Um, it's going to be useful for hauling and stuff like this, or going to mine something, then all the thing we just mine to the base, stuff like this. So targets are just chains of tileables. And we are going to have a living uh, namespace with for animals, humans, and plants. Uh, each is going to have uh, statistics, uh, skills, buff and debuff. For example, a skill for a plant is a uh, reproduce, right? Uh, and the stats are uh, growing rate, and the buff debuff can be added by the light. For example, a plant can grow. Um, quickly if there is a lot of light and slowly on night. So yeah, so I, I just think uh, we need a daylight, uh, day night system also. But yeah, uh, and psychology is just going for to be for human, but uh, yeah, we need to think about it. Traits is the same thing. And the combat system, but we'll do this uh, later, much later in the project. But it's quite important, so yeah. We have a resources and inventory system. Um, the inventory is just a, a group of tileables on the same tile. For example, we want to be able to have multiple instances of wood on a tile, uh, a stack, if you want. And recipes are just, um, uh, well, a recipe list. Uh, at this tile, I want uh, 10 wood and 2 stone or I don't know, three vegetables. Yeah. And we are going to have a building and blueprint system. A blueprint is just basically be going to be a, a recipe uh, with building data. 
And when the recipe is complete, we can start building. And the building is going to be, for example, a bed, a wall, a table. And uh, with uh, each building, we have uh, different properties. So that's why I didn't make the details here. And uh, depending on the success of this uh, playlist, I will uh, uh, ask the viewer what they want for the buildings. And we are going to have some events. Like, for example, cataclysmic events, uh, earthquake, volcans, uh, volcano, I don't know, uh, storms, uh, but also uh, maybe quests with, uh, uh, with, uh, how do you say this? Um, yeah, quests, uh, like uh, trade uh, 10 woods or uh, stuff like this, right? And um, yeah. We also have a graphic system. Uh, basically, we are going to have a mesh data, mesh data class to easily build meshes, a mesh pool system, because uh, most of our meshes are planes, so it four vertices, and the graphic instance system. Uh, I will explain this later, but basically, we want to use graphic uh, dot uh, draw mesh instance uh for our trees for example or plants because we need to draw a lot of them uh depending on the size of our map and we need this to be fast so yeah i will explain this uh, in details later we also are going to have controllers like uh, for the camera or for the ui or for the agents because it's quite nice to have our agents moving in the code but uh, it's nicer if we see the character moving right then series uh, we are going to be able to save our game and to load our definitions from, uh, I don't know, uh, XML or JSON. Yeah, uh, I need to think about this, but yeah. And uh, for the sound system, I have no idea, honestly, because I, have, I don't have much experience in Unity working with sound. But uh, we are going to learn together, so. right? So yeah, uh, this is going to be fun. So that's it for this introduction video. Um, I'm going to try to make at least one episode a week, uh, depending on my free time. Um, uh, everything will be uh, available on GitHub, like I said. If we, if you like this project or this uh, idea of a tutorial. Um, please uh, consider supporting me on Patreon because uh, this is going to take me a lot of time on multiple months, I think. Uh, and uh, I will share the code, but also um, uh, graphic assets uh, I will make. Uh, we will have uh, some video just uh, uh, while I'm drawing uh, graphics. Uh, we are going to use Unity. Uh, my uh, my editor is uh, Sublime Text, and for the graphics, we, use, we will use GIMP and Krita. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, hope you enjoy, and uh, see you on the first video. Bye bye.